Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Each of Skin. We're doing a little bit more of our retro corner. Retro gaming, baby. What's a retro will? Hello. Um, <laughs> <laughs> since you're becoming, you're going to become retro will now. Oh yeah. Giving you a name. You got a name. Got a secondary name. Oh, dude, we dressed you up in 1980s gear and actually doing a whole Twitter account for retro will. Well, let me tell you that brother back in the 80s, I'll go hugging. I'll come in you was running wild, so I can play all the retro games I want. Oh yes, I'm awesome, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just get our eighties and nineties bodies. Oh, right get, get, no, 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 it was big back in the eighties and nineties. Euro Disney was big back in the old eighties and nineties. There. Oh, yeah. well, uh, along with that, uh, <laughs> not just with Europe, uh, we're actually going to be talking about America because we've got yeah. a game about the mild, hard streets of America, the, the Detroit streets that Robocop walked upon himself. That whole, this, all the rage, all those streets, all that rage on all those streets that we had to actually contain in a games console. Uh, the Streets of Rage series on the Mega Drive was, like, I mean, it's one of the first scrolling beat em ups I ever played. I think I played Streets of Rage before I played Final Fight and uh, Double Dragon and those guys. Actually, that'd be a lie. I'm almost sure I played Double Dragon on the NES before, oh, actually. Right. Yeah, because was, there's such a time gap between. I know I played it, but I was never good at it and never really got into it. Streets of Rage, I got into properly. Like, the first one was really, really fun to play uh, with, like, you could call the cops and the shit a rocket launcher. Yes, that was a really special one. attack. I love that one. Love that one. Yeah, they've changed the game up since then. Um, Street to Rage Two is a uh, what became like the standard bearer for like uh, those kind of scrolling beat ups. We have your running attacks, your grab attacks, whatever else. Like Final Fight and Street to Rage really set that tone of the scrolling beat or the scrolling beat up. Like uh, they, they, nothing really says that game type to me other than these games. I could be wrong, but they've never actually tried to. They've never tried to update it to a modern audience. What the scrolling? They? The scrolling beat up. No, the Street to Rage. They haven't tried like. This this remake this game or let's take the internet uh internet bleh, intellectual the uh, IP property, property. yeah IP and then, you know new series make it into a new series of games uh, well, for today's audience they tried I mean there was a fan project at one point which was all the Streets of Rage games in a remaster where they had all the characters from all Streets of Rage yep. all the levels from all the Streets of Rage and they kind of like mixed them all together into like their own like a, a HD remaster of all the games and all the moves and all the characters. All into one, mm. including all the deleted characters from the Japanese games and all that kind of stuff. And well, that sounds like it's a bit of a, you know, it's it sounds like it would have. It was awesome. Would've... It was amazing. It was so good, but it was all a fan game. And then Sega went, eh, eh, poof, <laughs> get that off the internet. You're not allowed to do it. So the fans are like lost their shit over it a wee bit. Uh, the game still exists, I'm sure, somewhere on the internet, but it is illegal to own and illegal to use and illegly created. It's all used. Not in that we would ever condone a piracy. Of I'm not condoning any it. sort. I'm not condoning it's a, a, a piracy. I'm just saying it exists. Yep. <laughs> Take that as you will. But uh, also what exists is uh, a lot of those retro games of Street Rage series are available on other consoles. So we're going mm -hmm. to have a go at Street Rage 2 here on the PS3. So fire it up, Will. Let's take a look. Um, we've done a fair amount of Sega retro games on yes. this retro series because we just have access to them as part of the vintage collection. Again, Street Rage yeah. would have been included in the, uh, the Sega Mega collection from back mm -hmm. in the day. So, um, yeah, these, these are emulations with a little bit of a, a tweak to the smoothness of the look, the actual like, size of the game. Some of the levels have been changed, but I think the graphics have actually been mildly improved in some of these cases. So let's see what they've got. That's <laughs> of much. We do have to probably go in and actually like, stretch the borders and stuff. Yeah, a bit of smoothing. Oh, there we go. It's already sorted. Yeah, that's fine. Happy days. Good and grand. Perfect. I'm a, this is one of the things where I realized that I've probably gone in here and done this at some point because I just wanted to kick ass and see it's rage again. <laughs> right, so, so let's get into a new game and try this out. Oh yeah, that's right, because you have to actually have to set the difficulty and the amount of lives. Are you going hardcore? Are, just, are, you, are, you going, are you going normal hardcore? Or are you going just up the lives for, you know... <laughs> <laughs> for survival purposes? Oh, you imp. Three, <laughs> life, three <laughs> lives is the default and you get a new life after every 10,000 points. I'm just sitting here listening to the so song and it reminds me of like some sort of... Oh, what the fuck is it? I don't know. We'll start the game. If it comes back to me, it'll come back to me. Blaze, she was hot. Oh yeah, I know. Blaze is always my favorite character. So like, I uh, know. I was always a fan of. I always was a fan of Axel. And Axel is actually he's he's the, he's the kind of the cool badass, the main dude in it. But um, I always play as Blaze because she was fast. And I just like I like her power move. She she's actually well, does, like, she's well balanced. Fireball. Uh, Max is all the strength. Um, I would if I was playing this on the Mega Drive. I would have played Max most of the time. But uh, Skate is a Skate is actually like he's he is the he's the speediest one. He's got the most annoying goddamn voice in this game though. Yeah. Um. But sure, that's one of them things. Um. I'm going for Axel here anyway. Okay, what are you doing? 
I don't know, I'm just checking mouse ground. No, that's all sorted. But... Chop, chop. <laughs> Fucking gingers. Hey! <laughs> Motherfucker, we were like, what's his name? Punch yeah. one of them so I can see what his name is. Galsa, Galsia <laughs> will kick your ass. <laughs> Both Galsias? They're all Galsias. Yeah. It's the same as like, it's like they're always Hugos if they're the big dudes from Final Fight. I love the fact that this dude looked like Duck King from Fatal Fury. Y signal? R signal. <laughs> Red light, yellow light. So the name Signal as well, I think that's actually named like the, one thing they thought they I think they did in these vintage collections was actually return the names to being uh more like the Japanese names, essentially like an anglicized version of the Japanese names for the characters. Because there was a lot of changes in the Streets of Rage series. Um, Streets of Rage was very, very heavily censored back in the day. Um, I mean, the most common one that we all know about was the uh, changing of some of the characters that you fought against. Um, no. Did you not know about that? No. Oh, right. So some of the um, people in the street that you run into, you see where you're fighting a lot of these guys. Yep. There was a lot more female bad guys in the Asian version of Streets of Rage. So I take it they took it out for the fact that they wanted to cut down on the violence uh, against women. Violence against women. Yeah, well, it's also the fact that essentially people are like, yeah, I don't want to punch a woman. I'm like, well, okay, that's fine. She is trying to stab you with a knife. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what your real problem, but it really is. <clears throat> but instead of actually like doing what they did in the final fight, which was actually turn a lot of the women into just guys, just like such a change the heads on them or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and Streets of Rage, they just end up using less character types. They just remove that character type, character type from the game. Also, um, a lot of times there was characters and moves, yeah. not moves, but uh, characters removed from the games as well. Huh. In Streets of Rage 3, there was actually two other playable characters that you could only get access to so stupid. by using a particularly weird um, Oh my god, what? <laughs> this is this is Guile after you got chucked out of the army. Oh, uh, see, I always think of Axel as being like Cody from Final Fight though. Ah, uh, well, just by luck. Oh yeah. <laughs> but he's, just, he's minus in the, he doesn't have the, um, the hair. Hair's not brushed up. Well, that's why it's after the army. <laughs> but even after the army, Gael still kept his hair like that. that you, you ever seen the picture that shows like why Gael kept his hair like that? He can't. Uh, he can't afford fucking hair gel. Like <laughs> no, no, because his head is actually like it's square at the top. That's actually to hide the fact he's got a <laughs> cube shaped head. I don't think. Well, then Gael's like what he ginger muck, mucks, mucks a muck, a muck. Maybe it was meant to say mook, mook, mook. <laughs> like, they mooks everywhere. Check out this mole. There's something unbelievably yeah. satisfying about yeah. that sound as well. Whenever you hit things with the, the <laughs> it's like it's such a solid crack from the fucking lead pipe. <laughs> Hadouken. I see you everything to use a Hadouken. Meanwhile, anyway, I hear the actual like the differences in the voices. <laughs> I can hear the. <laughs> Better, 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 he swing, better, 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 he better, 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 swing, the left signal. So, did you know in Street Fighter 3 you actually had two other extra char playable characters in it? I did. Alright, so, uh, the two of them, <laughs> you did not. I did. Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. <laughs> Wait, don't, get, don't lead me into a line so I can actually, like, I consider the fact that I'll t explain it as if you actually don't know or if you do know. Tell me the truth. You're, you're best, uh, your best assumption is I know nothing. Okay. So the two, I know nothing. So, the two really extra hidden characters in, uh, the... Um, in Street Street 3 one of them is called Rue who is literally the kangaroo you fight at the end of like level 2 you remember that at all? nope alright so essentially at one point a guy a, like a keeper comes in with like a whip and a yeah. kangaroo comes out with boxing gloves on and if you kill the keeper before you kill the kangaroo oh. the kangaroo runs off screen and won't fight you anymore the next time that you actually lose a life and you go through the character select to change character. Yeah. Their kangaroo is now a selectable character. Cool. So you can actually play as Ruth for the rest of the game. I mean, uh, there was a few changes in the character. Like, because he's a kangaroo wearing boxing gloves, he couldn't pick up weapons. That's okay. I mean, that's understandable. He doesn't have the opposable thumbs and the, Makes sense. And the situation. That, I mean, you could hold him between his toes, maybe. But yeah, it doesn't really work for a lot of the characters. Second check. But um, he actually had a summer moves. He actually had a lot of summer moves to skate from the Street Reach 2. So it was kind of cool to actually have him kind of making a comeback. Well, I mean, no, Skit was in the third one. Uh, essentially, it was like a, a charge rush move that was actually like skid his head across the floor and like attack with his ass. Kind of cool. <laughs> uh, another one of the um, choosable characters was actually a boss who was almost cut from the game. Why is that? Uh, well, he was it. Essentially, what happened was there was a character in Streets of Rage 3 
who was dressed in fishnets, bike leathers, with a mustache and handcuffs all over his costume. Oh. And Freddy it was a bit Freddy? in the game whenever you were actually like fighting against uh, a number of enemies in waves one after another, uh, getting off of a boat. And then afterwards he would come, he'd be the last guy who would get off the boat and jump on and fight you on the dock. Instead he was replaced by a character called Shiva, who was a boss character from later on in the game. And you see him a lot earlier on. As an additional kind of change from removing that boss and putting Shiva in, Shiva was then a playable character. If you fought him and completed the fight by hitting him with a special move, and then holding down on a button on the controller until the end of until the level the next level started. Again, like Rue, whenever your character died, you could flick through the character selection list and be able to choose Shiva as one of the bosses or it was one of your playable characters. Yeah. Um he didn't have a dash move the attack because essentially his dash move was like a dash in and then you'd use your special attack and it would do the same as a dash move. There's a barman coming up in this game, uh coming up in this level just being pointed out there. Um was he in the third game? Sorry, who? The barman? Um Oh no, the no the guy you're thinking of uh, that was actually in the previous game was Adam, who was like in the first game. Remember, there's three you Blaze, Axel, and Adam. Yeah. Uh, Adam was I mean Blaze, Axel, and Adam, and Adam was the black guy that you played as that actually had the same. It's like it's very him and Axel were very similar characters in the first game. They were like almost like uh, character swaps in the same way you would actually just have like a um, costume change and a color change of the character, a palette swap. Um, Adam isn't in. Any of the rest of the main streets of ah, the series. Shit. Electra. But Skit is actually Adam's nephew, I think. Yeah, I think Adam uh, is replaced by Skit because Skit is actually Adam's uh, relative. And then they should, it's because they wanted to have a more variety of character types in the game. So that they gave so, Skit the beautiful story. Anybody watching at home, don't mind this uh, man on woman violence. It's just it's just the game. Hey, she. It, it, I think the whole point is that this is a BDSM bar and she actually had the whip and she was going to die. It's you gonna whip me. You know, you get the trade off on it. Yeah. First boss, the concierge or the sommelier or whatever he is. Come on. Come on, now. Come on you bastard. Barbon. I think his name was actually Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he actually, like, he does out. Like, he looks bigger and, like, differently designed than everybody else on the screen. Okay. Yeah. You can actually save yourself from uh, hitting the ground from those if you actually hold up and jump whenever ah, you actually fall. Fuck. I'm really dead now anyway. Well, you got multiple lives, remember? You, you, you went cheap and actually gave yourself a bunch of lives and there'll be a turkey in there. There you go. Boom. <laughs> ah, I ducked that. I picked up with the turkey and ducked <laughs> that fucking roundhouse kick. What's up, God? Fucking, uh... Chicken. You are false. Yeah, you can actually save yourself from falling. You can actually, like, land that on your feet. I did not know that. Ah, but you come on! Up, up and jump, I think it is, whenever you're being thrown. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, jump and attack. Mm. While you're while you're being thrown. <laughs> Just let it... Yeah, no, I was trying to when I was being thrown there. Damn it. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, you hold it. But tap it. Even still. See, like, I mean, all you have to do is nail him with like two special moves and the guy's near dead, like. Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Well, I'm you got no life. You're good. You're fine. There we go. Barbon. <laughs> Barbon. Barbon has failed. So that was stage one cleared. How does that, how is the feeling actually had the bring him back going through stage one? Has it brought you back? It has brought me back. It has brought me back. Um apparently <laughs> Remember well, the pauses at the beginning of the next level. No worries. Um now what I was gonna say there is uh, we don't have we don't have Fertile on this show, but we we actually do have another fact finder. He's given us some hints through chat, chat there actually. Mm -hmm. Um so apparently Guile, or Axel was modeled on Guile and Kemp and it would be It would make a lot of sense. I mean, essentially, it feels like the character's design with the dragon punch and the uppercuts and the like, Sonic Boom style attack and the fact that he kind of like looks a bit like Kai, uh, Ken. He looks a bit like Ken Masters. But it's also the fact that he, he's very, very heavily modeled on Cody from Final Fight as well, which was a guy in a white shirt, blue jeans and blonde hair. I mean, like literally, he could be a synonym for all American tough guys, so much you perform. But uh, like essentially, model him after the uh, the the body from uh, Karate Kid. You know, it's also the fact that it's funny. Guy. He's not just Axel; he's Axel F. Axel F. Axel Fox. Yeah. And the fact there are, I think Axel and 
Adam were both former cops in the end of the first game, but then they're not. They don't really talk about the fact that they were formerly cops in this <laughs> one. That's why. That's why whenever you called for support, it was a cop in a cop car. Yeah, it was all kind of like because they were all cops going on the edge. They're going all death. Uh, was it? They, they said you got, what was the name of the the, the cop who was not a manic cop, but it was actually a cop who actually went on a revenge trip. Is it Robocop? No, 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 no. It's uh, essentially it was like a, a more of a crime thriller one. Um, um, Death Wish. Death Wish. Essentially Death Wish kind of thing where it's like I a wish revenge it was story. Dead. <laughs> yeah, that was Death Wish twenty three. Um, uh, <laughs> like, guys, <laughs> what do you think of actually uh, the beginning of Suits of Rage two? We're going to be playing a bit more of this. If you guys actually like and comment underneath the videos whenever it comes out live, um, really appreciate you actually coming here to watch the channel and actually see the videos as we make them live uh, as well. So make sure to check that out on Twitch.tv for us past Suits skin in the future. We'll be doing plenty more of these. Uh, you can always interact and actually be able to chat to us there. But if you enjoyed uh, the commentary we've had over this game and the story we've been telling, and you want to see more of Will playing through yeah. some retro classics with a so with nary a nary a swear word on this one actually. Yeah, it was not a swear word. This was like this is actually no this is one we'll use in the trailer. We'll actually be able to use this. No finally. mental breakdown. I think it's beat the other ones with the other ones. It's probably true. You know, fuck. There you go. <laughs> that uh, just ruined uh, it, man. God uh, Almighty, you. <laughs> All right, if we could just get through one, <laughs> one without the mature rate, that'd be good. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> if you feel it, if you enjoyed the show, make sure to actually hit the subscribe button above. You'll be able to watch all the videos as they come out live here on the channel, and make sure to hit that notification bell because it makes sure they remind you whenever they come out. And open over the top of Will's head, there is actually multiple playlists and other videos that we've done here on the channel that you can go and check out for your own enjoyment. I want to say thank you very much for watching, and we'll thank see you. all you dudes in the next console. Bye. Bye.